you're struggling with acne because of constant mask wearing, guess what? You're not alone. Well, and that's not the only beauty problem I run into. Half of my mask ends up inside the mask itself. Yes, so true. So joining us with some clean beauty hacks for masks is Missy from Revel Beauty. Let's take a look. That's right, on top of everything else, we now have to deal with the dreaded mask knee or acne caused from wearing our masks. So I wanted to give you guys some beauty tips that you could incorporate to help alleviate those issues. Now first off is brought to you by My Dermatician. This is a skincare line and they've just released their antimicrobial skin mist. Now this skin mist is actually a hypochlorous acid solution which is safe to use on your face, your mouth, your nose, your ears, your hands, anywhere. It's safe for kids, it's safe for pets. So yes, you can spray your pet's paws. If they go inside and outside like mine do, then you can spray their paws off and not have to worry about the bacteria that they're bringing in. But what I wanted to share with you about this product is how I use it with the mask. So if you are wearing one of the disposable masks, you should be disposing of these daily. So you, they're a one-time use, that's it. I recommend to take your mask off, go ahead and spray the face about six inches away, but also spray the inside of your mask and it's just gonna give us that added level of protection when we're in public spaces. So it's also great if you wanna throw a bottle of this into your kid's backpack at school and tell them whenever they go to hand sanitize their hands, take that out and spray their faces as well. So we'll make sure we're, we're killing the bacteria, we're killing the viruses. So it's a really great product. It's $28 and you can find it at mydermatician.com. So next up, I have heard that a lot of you are having some issues with your makeup rubbing off on your masks. Now, if they look like this, when you take them off and you're wearing more makeup on your mask than you are on your face, you have a problem. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys some makeup tips that you could incorporate. So if you still wanna wear that makeup and not have it rub off on your mask, CoverGirl has their Outlast All Day Long Wear Foundation. Now this foundation is a three in one. It's under 10 bucks. It dries to a matte finish and it's transfer resistant. So it's not gonna get on your mask and it's gonna give you full coverage all day long. So I really found that this was a great product to add to your makeup routine while we're going through this mask phase. Now also CoverGirl has an outlast for their lip collection so you can wear all the beautiful lip colors that you want and not have it wearing on your mask as well. So great products you guys. You can find these at any major retailers. Again all of it is under ten dollars. But one more thing I always add to my makeup and I've been using it for years is Skindinavia's Makeup Setting Mist. Yeah, you can find more information about them on Skindinavia.com. But this is the product that I use to set my clients makeup. So I make sure that their, their makeup's done and then you spray this on and you're gonna have great makeup all day long. It keeps it where it's supposed to and it's gonna help to prevent it from getting on your mask as well. Lastly, another tip that you could incorporate if you're still having issues with your makeup rubbing off on the inside of your mask is take an oil blotting sheet and that's gonna dry out any excessive oil that you may have but it also removes any of that surface makeup that's just kind of sitting on top of the skin so that when you go to put on your mask you really don't have that layer that's going to attach itself to your mask so that's a really great product to have is just oil blotting sheets you can find those anywhere but if you don't have these I've got a little hack for you that you can take Kleenex and I don't know if you've noticed this or not but Kleenexes are usually two or three ply so you can separate them out and peel them like that and now you take just the single sheet and this works perfectly for an oil blotter you guys so whether you're wearing a mask or not these are great to just go ahead if you're in a pinch you can grab one of these and it's going to blot up any of that oil and take it all off and you're ready to wear your mask and not have to worry about it going anywhere i hope these tips were helpful for you and as always you can find more information on my website at rebelbeauty.com i'm going to throw it back to you beautiful ladies in the studio i hope you are all staying safe and thank you so much for having me on today